Hi guys, Chantelle here from Two Hearts Win Roof and today I'm going to show you our top 10 toddler books that Elian is loving at this moment. So I'm really lucky to say that Elian loves books. He loves looking at them, he loves playing with them, he loves us reading to him, which is great because I am a book lover, John isn't, but it is nice to see him enjoying books. And quite often he'll be playing and then he'll randomly take a book off his shelf and come climb up on your lap on the sofa so you can read it to him. And that has been really, really lovely. So we've got a huge different range of books. I've been picking them up recently from HomeSense and TK Maxx because they have some great like uh, pop-up books or the lift flap books. You can get some really, really great ones there. And then also storybooks from the works or even in Tesco's I found a few recently. So this is a mixture of different types of books that he just seems to be loving at the moment and keeps pulling out and returning back to them all of the time. I will pop links to all of the books in the box below if I can find them on Amazon or where I originally bought them. So if anybody is interested, you will find them down there afterwards. So the first book is The Usborns Touchy Feely, That's Not My Donkey. He loves these touchy-feely books by Usborne. So we have the lamb, we have the donkey, we have the Christmas elf, and he is about to get the bunny for Easter. So if you haven't seen these books, they're really simple. It just says, that's not my whatever the character is, and then why, and then there is a touchy-feely section on each page. And Elian will ask us to read this book over and over again and you don't mind because you can get through them pretty quickly anyway next up is a julia donaldson this is the fox's socks um so it's julia donaldson and axel scheffler i don't know if i'm saying that right so it is a lift the flat book so ta-da so this one the fox can't find his socks, so he is looking everywhere in his house and opening cupboards and drawers and things like that and finding other items of clothing until at the very end, obviously, he is dressed and has a pair of socks. So it's just a sweet one. Um, I picked this up from the Cotswolds Wildlife Park when I was there, um, which was really cute and it was pound off. So we are big Julia Donaldson fans, as I think everyone is if they've got a little one. Next up is another touchy-feely book. Now this is a collection I hadn't seen before. I'd seen the Esborns. Um, this one is Make Believe Ideas. This one's by and uh, it does have an author on here somewhere. <coughs> I can't find the author. Oh, Rosie Greening. Um, but I actually found this in Tesco's. So this is what it looks like and it's a rhyming book and then each of the dragons has some sort of touchy feely on it. So you must never touch a dragon that has curvy curly claws, distract it with a sandwich then run away indoors. He absolutely loves this, he is obsessed with it. It's kind of a different texture, the Usborns tend to be like soft fabrics. Um, whereas this is like different types of rubbery plastic so he is loving this so I'm glad I picked it up it was in Tesco's in the two for seven pound offer at the moment next is another book that I picked up in that two for seven pound in Tesco's and it's another Usborne this is the peep inside the zoo um, again I hadn't seen this version for them um, so it tells you like about different types of animals it's factual rather than a story. So this one up here says, this busy panda, this panda is busy eating. He chews through hundreds of bamboo stems a day. There's a lion hiding in there. But again, anything with kind of like lift the flaps, Elian loves and he is big into animals. So this is great. So this is kind of our last interactive -y kind of one. This is another lift the flap. This is Busy Zoo and it is a ladybird book and I got this one in Home Sense. So again it tells them about animals and it's got different flaps to lift up. It names all the animals and different things in the zoo which is great. 
We've been using it a lot for like word recognition for Alien and things like that. This one was only $2.99. Then I had to include at least one noisy book. Kids all love noisy books. Again, Julia Donaldson and this is The Gruffalo. Everyone loves The Gruffalo. So we do have the original Gruffalo books as well. Um, but my friend bought him this one for Christmas, which has the noises. Which, of course, means it's his favourite. So it is just the story of the Gruffalo. And it tells you when to press each of the characters to make the noises. And he is obsessed with it. <laughs> So now we're on to kind of like the picture storybooks. The first one is Pandemonium, written by Dan Crisp. And it's another rhyming book with these simple, funny illustrations of animals. Um, and Elian loves this. He likes to identify the animals in it as well, which is great. Next, we have The Star of the Zoo. This is by uh, Virginie Zurcher and Daniel Howarth. I've no idea if I said that name right. Elian is obsessed with this book. We've had this one for over a year now and he loves it. It's a cute story of the star falling out of the sky and all the animals in the zoo trying to put her back up. And it's got really beautiful illustrations in it. And he loves to uh, identify the animals. So we ask him to point at the lion and the zebra and all that. And he gets to do that. And it's a story of friendship and teamwork. And that's really, really nice. So the last two books are ones that my mum actually bought about two weeks ago. But I have probably read a hundred times already. So this is the Gigantosaurus. Uh, by Johnny Dudley. Elian loves dinosaurs, so a book with dinosaurs in is awesome. And the illustrations are amazing. It is another rhyming story, so kids always love that. And it's kind of, um, it's the story of the, bi the boy who called wolf. The boy who cried wolf. I did get that right. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much the story of the boy who cried wolf, but with a happy ending. Um, one of the characters keeps telling the others that the Gigantosaurus is coming, so they all run and hide, and he's always winding them up until the very end, when the Gigantosaurus does come. So it's it's a cute book. Like I said, the illustrations are awesome. Uh, and Elliot loves it. Then lastly is another Julia Donaldson book. Um, I hadn't actually heard of this one before, so I don't know how long this one has been out. This is Zog. Um, and he is a dragon. So uh, I don't know where my mum got it from. I think from a supermarket, probably. So Zog is in school, learning different things, and is helped out by a princess. It's a really sweet book. It's really, really nice. Um, so we really like this. Elian has asked me to read it so many times. Um, luckily, I've actually just found the second version of this. There is a follow-up called Zog and the Flying Doctors, I think. I think that's what it's called. And I managed to pick it up in Tesco's last week. So he has that for his birthday. So number two for his birthday. Again, illustrations are awesome. They're really nice. Um, so yeah, that is the last book. That is all 10. So what books does your toddler enjoy or your little ones? I would love some more recommendations of great reading books for kids. So please pop it in the box below. Don't forget to check out and see any of the books. I will put them in the description. Please give this a thumbs up if you are a big fan of reading to your kids. And hit subscribe to join the Two Hearts family. I'll see you guys again soon. Love you lots. Bye.